Hello guys, today we will review this active balancer. I've got this from uh, eBay. It's six uh, cells version and uh, it's for um, lithium iron phosphate batteries. And uh, in a package we're getting this balancer itself and uh, we're getting these wires. It's active balancer, so, so, so that means uh, in a situation, uh, if we have situation like that, when a battery has six cells and one cell is uh, discharged, uh, active balancer is supposed to get energy from the rest of cells and transfer this to here. So after uh, balancing is done, we'll have all cells slightly less charged than it was before, and this cell will be full charged at the same level. Uh, in situation like this, when um, only one cell fully charged and the rest of the cells discharge, it will transfer energy from one cell to the rest of the cell, so energy level will be somewhere here. We will perform uh, four tests, uh, what we can see here. Last cell fully discharged somewhere in the middle cell, in this case cell number three is discharged. Uh, then uh, last cell fully charged and the uh, uh, last scenario is going to be middle uh, cell or cell number three in my case fully charged. We'll give two hours for balancing and uh, if I will see that after two hours it's still balancing cells, we will give it more time to balance. So I solder this um, GXT plug so we can easily connect this to our monitoring devices uh, and we're going we are about to start our tests and this device is claiming that it can do balance up to 2 amps and the voltage difference will be 15 milliamps but if this device can do somewhere below even if this device can do 30 milliamps cell difference is going to be great result. For our test I'm going to use lithium battery 6 cells version uh, and uh, it's 100 milliamps and I'm using for this test especially low uh, low capacity battery just 1 amp uh, so our test will be faster because this balancer is supposed to balance this battery in about in, in one hour. To monitor cell voltage, I'm going to use this uh, voltage monitor. So if I connect this directly to to monitor, we will see that voltage difference right now is uh, 844 millivolts. Six uh, cell number six is uh, 3.34. This is for test number one, and um, I'm going to connect balancer to battery, we'll leave it for 2 hours, and in 2 hours we'll come back and see where we are. Alright, so we're starting test number 1. I will set timer for 2 hours. And uh, on this uh, balancer we have LED which I guess telling us that balancing is in progress. We are 16 minutes left till balancing uh, will end, but I will stop this test number one because if we see uh, cell cell difference right now we are at 9 millivolts cell difference so all cells equalized and uh, even we have this indicator that I think it's showing that it's still working still balancing but 9 or 8 it was just 8 millivolts it's a great result I'm going to charge battery back and uh, bring battery to for uh, prepare a battery for test number two, when middle cell is going to be fully discharged. Okay, we are about to start test number two. So here is the cell voltage for our test. Cell number three is fully discharged. The rest of the cells is fully charged. I will connect balancer. It's 
starting for two hours but if balancing will finish if balancer will finish balancing earlier we'll stop the test Okay, so two hours later, let's see. Okay, two hours later, let's see where we are. So, uh, cell voltage. Cell voltage difference is 13 millivolts. And here you can see cell voltage after balancing. We're moving to test number three. All cells di discharge, cell number six fully charged. So if we see here, cell voltage difference is 900 millivolts. Cell number six is almost fully charged. Now I'm going to connect. Balancing. And set timer to two hours. Alright, so two hours later, let's see what we got. Uh, so we have uh, 25, 24 millivolts difference. Looks like balancing is still happening. Cell number six is still highest voltage, but here's the result after two hours. Alright, so we're starting our last test. So here's a battery voltage. Cell number three is fully charged. So two hours finished, let's see where we are with results. So we have, after two hours, we have 28 millivolts, 27 millivolts difference. And here is the final result. Here is going to be attached table with the final results. And I can say I really impressed with this unit because when I was starting testing this, I was very skeptical that it can do, actually it can do active balancing. Because if you saw a uh, test for this balancing board on my channel, it was failure. So this unit was um, cell difference after balancing was 300 millivolts. So it was not able to balance battery. With this unit for price and uh, capabilities, it's uh, as far as I tested these devices, it's the best uh, balancing board that I saw before. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this test, uh, hit thumbs up, subscribe for our channel. Thank you for watching and see you later.